few of them look quite at home out there on the back of a Harley as well. I'm not talking well not about Dale you. Shearer. That's Rowdy, it's you. Does fill that jersey out Sammy back over these days. So some of the great names of rugby league have assembled the Big Ben Pies Wally Lewis Celebrity Challenge. And we're in for what is going to be some great entertainment. Simon O'Donnell's out there. He's on the bench in the opening part. So too is Robert Dipper Domenko, the great who's, Hawthorne who's player. That? And don't pick me up on the pronunciation already, Sterlo. I'm going to get it wrong a thousand yeah. times. Ah, you'll handle it good. There he is. Look at there he is. Let's call him Dipper for short. So what were you feeling at this precise moment last year, Peter? Well, fear, Ray, basically. Basically fear. I did come up here half thinking that it was going to be fairly serious and was an 8-6 scoreline. I'd had a few shoulder problems going into this. Fortunately, after five minutes, I thought, well, I can get through this game. Oh, there's the fat fella out there and Paul Sirenin alongside him. <laughs> Who's off me? Greg Konescu, the turtle. He's playing for the Kentucky oh, yeah, Fried on, Chicken side. Get down there, boys, and uh, do your best. Yeah, yeah, right. O'Donnell has gone for the water bottle already. Okay. Dipper's gone to get a refill. They've done plenty of work. They've ridden out in the Harley Davidson, the Victorians, and they're both gone, and we haven't even kicked off. There's the whistle from Gomisal. Mark Eller kicks off. And the Big Ben Pies Wally Lewis celebrity challenge is underway for Greg Floamo to bring it back on the eve of rugby league semi-finals. Some of the greats get together for charity, might be the best way to call it. And the big fella, Sam Bacco, is put down. It wasn't a run with a great deal of intensity, I might add. Lewis fires the long ball. He found Terry Hill. He turns it inside for Davidson. And now they're midway between the 20 and the halfway. Fullerton Smith. Wrapped up and put away by... Is that Chris Close? Five yards tonight, not ten. God, he has got big. Lewis. Cuts out Bacco. Is it any wonder? Glenn Ella turns it back for Michael McLean. And he runs into a tackle that didn't really want to be made, but Gene Miles had to make it because the bloke ran at him. And now Steve Ella, the zip zip, through to Lewis and on uh, to O'Connor and Florida. And Terry Hill goes down the right. Kenny lets him go. Kenny might have ducked the opposition looking at that frail attempt to tackle. Tim Brash is put away seven metres out. So to the left. O'Connor shoots it out. Glenn Ella flicks it. Oh, look out for Big Sam. There's the... They've sent reinforcements in to pull him down. That's a knock-on. He gets the distinct impression they're trying to put Glenn Eller across that line. Well, he's run into a couple of holes out there. Some very ordinary defence there from Brett Kenny. I know the man's retired, but you expect better from him than that. And not a good ball from Steve Eller. Really testing the skills of Mark Eller there. And he was, he was found wanting on that occasion. 
Steve Roach. Steve Roach. The traditional softening up period, I think we've, we've seen it. That was the first tackle. It's not on. They reckon Sam couldn't sleep last night. He's that excited. They reckon he got on the bus and said, oh, there's some bad heads on here. <laughs> he wasn't telling lies, Blunt. Was that Roach or Sam Back doing <laughs> comments? Oh, Steve. Gary Freeman now. Steve Roach was left out of the side for, for lack of cover defence, and Kenny has missed Terry Hill blatantly. It's amazing that Roach... Here he is now, the big man from Channel 9, the fat man. He went nowhere. Well, he's, he's had a good start to this game, Paul Gordon. He came up with a try-saving tackle in that first set of six, and very unusual to see him back up and get the football in the next set as Miles gets one of those magic basketball passes forward as they normally were for Queensland in State of Origin football. And on one of the rare occasions... Domasol has picked up a Queenslander for a forward pass. And has anybody spoken to Gomasol? Back chatting from Vorton. Well, you've just got to go to Miles in that situation, don't you? McIndoe, beautiful skills to hold on. The little chip over the top, but all to no avail. 20-minute quarters then as Glenn Ella fires it out wide. The guru put it down, Eric Groth. Bostead took half an hour to clean it up. Little Bowie's done the job now, though. Here's Kenny coming out from Dummy Hart. And so too is Eric Grove. He's done well to get through this first couple of minutes of the game and not be injured. I saw him trip over the halfway line one day and he was out for six weeks, but he's had a good start to this game. He's still on the field. Isn't it amazing how Eric Grove always manages to get the wing nearest the dressing sheds? He doesn't have to walk so far. Close away for Niebling. He runs right through the centre. Sends Big Siren and up towards them. That'll frighten a couple of them. Well, good ball and all tackle there from Stephen Ella in the seven jersey. Went high as you have to do on Sirenen. Now Dale Shearer with the wig off now. They know that it's Shearer and they're, uh, they're swarming in on top of him. But our oh, growth takes it magnificently. He threw a bomb at Eric and he handled it well. 40 metres out from his own line. They work the short side. Ah, oh, Wally Bullard and Smith. Lovely feet. And nice hands away for Florimo. Well, actually, Ray, it wasn't a step. The knee gave way, and he found himself in some open spaces with support. I thought they could have done better there as Lewis turns to throw the big one. O'Connor, who gave himself plenty of wraps before this game, this is his first touch of the football. Ella turns it inside. Now Grove starts to pump the big pistons, and now Vorton, like a thief in the night, like a drover's dog, he was following through. And now he goes to ground, Paddy. Yeah. And he's been pinged, has he? Well, why wouldn't he be? He was, he was 10 metres offside. He wasn't a thief in the night. He was too lazy to get back on side. He's got an ordinary colour, hasn't he, already? Well, it's hard to work out where the hair starts and, and the, the colour of the face finishes, really. We'll see here, growth up the middle, turned and passed, but unfortunately brought him in the way, as he generally is. Here's Sam. Backo, that is. Still no... <laughs> what do you mean he's not hurt? He could be. McLean turns it inside. Florham. I've been there too. Is that Gomez all talking to them like that? Yes, good refereeing there, telling them to keep back on side. Well, he's been one of his better performances as Lewis on oh, a short pass. A lovely ball to Michael O'Connor, but well cleaned up by Mark Ella. So there's a chance here for the Kentucky Fried Chicken team. Lewis engineering play. Away from Conescu, it went through to Fullerton Smith. Now Glenn Ella, they keep working to the fullback. He makes the extra man again. Now the last. Fullerton Smith choosing to go right. Beautiful hands by Steve Ella. Cuts out Wally Lewis, picks up Michael O'Connor. And Gomasaw says that's enough. Oh, sensational cover defence there. You saw it was a, a jolting tackle from both... That man there, Dale Shearer and Brett Kenny. What about the hands from Stephen Ella? One of the most skillful players ever played. Look at that for great defence. Powder puff comes to mind, right? This is Brian Neebley. Tough Queenslander. Carry the Australian colours. In fact, goodness, he is there some uh, rugby league talent out there, both former and present. Well, he's let that go for Gene Miles. That's unbelievable from the grasshopper. Well, I Mark think Ellerall. he realised his mistake early. We're pulling up that the forward pass from Miles. Fennick. Miller. Oh, good hands there by Niebling. He served it up for Chris Close. A shocker out the back. And uh, McIndoe's had a, a bit of trouble with it. Rowdy Shearer goes ahead, has to 
leap over the fallen player in his way. Freeman runs to the right. Where is it? Freeman still got it. Will of the wisps up, the big smile on the face. Shearer comes in. Miller does his bit. Fennick goes ahead. And Thornton knocks it on. Well, you didn't have to be told. Let's have a look at it. Miller, Fennick, and then the big fellow from the back of the scrum, the fat man, the barbecue man, puts it down. Yes, and immediately blaming somebody else for that pass, hitting him on the chest and dropping it. As Fullerton Smith really shot some good ball skills. Ella into the clear, the flick to another Ella. That one of the Stephen variety. Placement girls with the placards are waving them madly. We want players on and off, but nobody's taking any notice of them as Lewis waits it in nicely. Terry Hill tries hard. But I think we're going to find a scrum. We are on this occasion. A very good ploy in the modern game. The little kick in behind the defensive lines coming up quickly. But Terry Hill did his best to keep it in. Well, it's going to be a fair sort of thrill for Terry Hill to be playing outside the likes of, of Wally Lewis, Michael O'Connor. Same team as Glenn Eller. Young player with a big future in the game and he's going to love every minute of this. He's going to be playing alongside some big names next year too, from what I'm told. Uh, Ian Roberts and company. Michael McClay. Hand off for Florham. Cross for Davidson. On for Fullerton Smith. Knocked down by Freeman. Six more tackles. And Barry Gomesall has seen that. Riding away was Tim Brasher, the guru for the corner. Eric gets it down. Oh, Parramatta fans, you can rejoice. Sterling come down off the ceiling. Oh, was, uh, it, look at this. it was vintage football. There you can see the disappointment on the face of Gene Miles. But Brett Kenny going for one of his trademark intercepts didn't come up with the, the catch here. You'll see him come through. Good work from the inside men. Davidson involved, the cutout from Fullerton Smith. And then good work here. I think it's Tim Brasher getting involved. The man of the match last year positioned his winger beautifully and fortunately for Eric, it was only eight metres to go. Despairing tackle from Bosted. Great evasion from Brasher. Finished football and I don't the Parramatta fans long to see that. One of the all-time greats getting serious for a moment, Eric Groth. And I don't think I'll ever forget seeing him score a try against, I believe it was Canterbury Bankstown in the middle 80s. He left about four or five on his wake. Probably one of the great rugby league tries of all time as Brasher from out very wide just skims the edge of the uprights. So, it's Wally Lewis's team four leading Brett Kenny's team, no score. Now to Seagull Stadium for the Big Ben Pies Wally Lewis Celebrity Challenge. We've got four points to nil to score at the moment. And Greg Dowling is over there as the... Ah, oh, Sam Bacco flick passes to Terry Hill. Shearer's got him covered. He cuts back in field. Steve Ell is there to support. But as I was about to say, Greg Dowling is with the Big Dipper. Well, Dipper, but for punishment, back for another game. Another game, 12 months ago, but uh, obviously they're uh, saving the best to last. I'm going to get out of here. What were the, uh, the tactics going into this? What was the skipper telling you? Oh, basically to survive the uh, two halves. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, older players out there compared to last year, but uh, they just enjoy yourselves and away you go. And like you said, you're raring to get out there. Rare to get out there. I mean, the, the boys never handy. Who do you see as a weak link out there? Who are you going to replace? I think I might uh, replace Rowdy. Not at the moment, there. you better not, Thanks, because Dipper. Rowdy's just made a fine break right down the centre and still going. Bacco was pursuing, but he dropped off half an hour ago. Brasher comes from nowhere to clean up. Sorry, Greg, I had to butt in, but they look pretty dangerous, the blue side. Guru, growth. And has he done the knee? This was Shearer. Bacco was chasing, as I said, but he got off very early at Redfern. And Brasher came out of nowhere. Now, is growth okay? Yes, Groth going back to his wing position as Barry Gomesall has picked up a knock on. Here you see Groth taking a good tackle low. He landed on the knee. And, well, you know, and Gay's gone past. That's two months out of the game there. Blue ball. Blue ball. Blue ball. Blue ball. Blue ball. Blue ball. Nice Kenny's team with the feed. 30 metres out. Three minute in. Mark Eller at 5 eighths. Kenny inside. Miles outside. Bostead. Oh, Bostead pass with his back turned. And Lewis's team has come away with it. Played by Michael O'Connor. Wally Fullerton-Smith. 
Lewis taken by Freeman. Freeman picked him up and dropped him. Now it's O'Connor again. Oh, got a little slap across the face from Brett Kenny. Yes. Had a fairly big target, I suppose, by the same token. I'm getting a little bit cranky in his older, older years, Brett Kenny. Michael O'Connor there, a, a combatant from the mid-80s from the Manly Club. You'll see right? here. Oh, yes, a head-high tackle there. Should, should have been, a, I think, 10 in the sin bin myself. Back up. Been strong early, Sam. Konescu sliding it for Steve Eller. They push it on for Michael O'Connor. Calls the Eric Groth to go inside, but Eric didn't respond. Maybe he didn't hear him. Well, Gene Miles has come up with a great shot there on Michael O'Connor, slowly to his feet, sidestepping on six blades of grass, and there, there's Miles coming in. Eric didn't look like coming inside, did he? No, well, if he'd have gone inside, he'd have got the ball, Ray. And... Mark Eller floating it, put down by Miles, knock-ons both ways. That fella looked offside to me, Steve Eller. Gomasol said, never mind about that, play on. Well, they're a mile offside, the blue side, as the flick pass from Lewis at dummy half finds Mike McLean. He takes it almost to the 20 metre line. And they really have dominated. The field position has been with Wally Lewis aside all night. They're in trouble, the blue side, even this early. Fullerton Smith finding Les Davidson. He slips it out the back. Glenn Ella floats it. High, wide and handsome for Brasher. Terry Hill does a bit of dancing. Back to the centre for the turtle, Greg Koneski. Now for the zip-zip man who turns it away for Fullerton Smith. Back for Koneski. Koneski decides to kick. It's a strange tactic. He's kicked it back, but it's found growth. Growth turns it in for O'Connor. McLean with him. Knocked down. Six more tackles if they get it. And Walling has got it. Gomasol recognises that. Six more tackles for the KFC side. Played by their captain, Lewis. Strange play the ball. Konescu slides out three steps, gives it to Davidson. And Davidson's wrapped up by Paul Fatty Vorton. How's his tackle count at the moment, Vorton? Well, that's his first, Ray, and uh, he's leading the way, I think, as the ball goes to ground once again. Good work from Wally Lewis, always thinking, trying to catch the defence offside with the, the quadruple play the ball there. They did well, the, the blue side, to stay out of the, the 10 metre area. Blue side, incidentally, is sponsored by Streets Ice Cream. Wally's team, sponsored by KFC. The overall promotion by Big Ben Pies. And there's plenty of charities that are going to get some dollars out of this, and that's great news. Gary Freeman brought to a screaming halt under the tackle of Tim Brasher, former teammate. Away now for Brian Niebling. Miller is cut out. They seem to be cutting Gavin out a lot tonight. Shearer gives the pass on the inside. Mark Ella takes it to the halfway. Chris Close was there to take the ball. Dale Shearer goes ahead. Oh, he puts on a sprint. He changed gear, Dale Shearer. Gave the pass to little Bowie. And Kerry Bostead goes in to score for the Cowboys. That's the equaliser. What a try. Great work there from, from Dale Shearer. Getting the congratulations from Kerry Bostead. One of the, the good finishers of the game. But he just put the, the foot down. Good work here. Good pass out of dummy half from Greg Koneski, who, who does happen to be playing on the other side. But... He found good support. And there you'll see Dale Shearer getting on the outside of Les Davidson, the despairing dive back inside the base head. He's growth across from cover defence. And, well, Eric, never Where? going to get base. Where <laughs> was Eric? What do you mean there's Eric in cover defence? Look spectacular. He's still on the ground. It was converted. Different angle. The lofted pass. Shearer did actually change gears. He went from standing still to full speed and then another speed machine. And one of the young giants of rugby league in his day gets the try. Simon O'Donnell is on. This might help the KFC side. Well, I don't see that as being the case, Ray. I, I really think Dipper and Simon O'Donnell, as, as Wally Lewis, gets a well-earned rest. They're going to struggle in this game. They're up from Melbourne. They, they haven't played a tough physical game like this. They've, they've been involved in other pursuits, sporting pursuits, where, which are fairly easy compared to what they're about to, to face out there. And they may well prove to be the weak links. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, out on the full. Cardinal sin that one. Mistake made. Listen, Blocker, you're out on the field. Do you realise that? Yeah, I do, right? I'm just going to talk to Eric, mate. Oh, fair enough. I'm yeah. sorry. I know. Modern technology. Eric, how are you feeling, mate, after your try? Uh, pretty good, but I'm lying. 
<laughs> You're both on that, aren't you? Hey, what have you been doing with yourself the last couple of seasons? Uh, basically, just coaching some young kids out of Camelton Way, but I've got the Western Suburbs S2 ball swipe next year, so I'm pretty happy about that. And here's your tip for the grand final. We'll just hold the game up here for another uh, couple of minutes, mate. That's what you've uh, done. The grand final. If Brisbane get there, they'd be hard to beat, but so Brisbane and Canberra, you know, they're pretty good. Yeah. Thanks very much, Eric. Bye. That was good, Block, and they held the game for the interview. Dipper's kick, Dipper's kick failing to find touch. So Placido Domingo is now on, and so too is O'Donnell. Terry Hill has a bit of a chuckle as the scrum prepares to pack. And I think that was the right play for Eric Grove to hold the game up there. The amount of sweat coming out of him, Eric well known that he, he would sweat in a swimming pool. And he needed a little bit of a break there, and we may see him get involved in this game as Dipper gets his first touch. Beautiful pass to Weller. Taken high by Glen Eller, let go by the referee, and Vaughton finally getting involved in this game. Well, he set oh, Niebling up beautifully. Pass by the fat man. Niebling gets it back inside Peter, but unfortunately, it's gone down to the KFC side. Great cleaning up there from Greg Kinescu. Fairly unfortunate nickname in the Turtle. You know, you'd much prefer Ace or Flash or the Zip Zip Man, but it doesn't conjure up great thoughts, does it? Being called the Turtle. Grace given a long run from inside his own 20 That's metre it. line, and then Kenny just absolutely creams him. Again, James, no love lost there, there, there between the two former Parramatta greats, Greg Florimo. What's Brett doing now? Well, I think you find Brett owes Eric some money, actually, and uh, always a good way to, to square things up is Simon O'Donnell. Simon. Basically, the, oh, look, the hands have gone up. Poor Grace. Bad pass that one. He, he tried to get in position for the handball, but then realised that he's on the wrong, the wrong paddock for that. I wonder yeah. what Alan Border thinks now. Alan Border's here watching the match, and Simon O'Donnell, one of his former Colts, has made an embarrassing blunder in his opening exchanges. Border probably leaving the ground now. Shearer, Dale's calling on the. Uh, the winger McIndoe to go inside. McIndoe stayed out. Freeman's got the ball. Six more tackles for the Streets blue side, captain by Brett Kenny. And a fairly cheap shot there from O'Donnell. Hasn't had a good start to this game. Oh, there he's caught out of position. McIndoe feet up. Freeman, they've got to score. Shearer slides over. Gomesol says no. Double movement. Steve Eller away. They spread the ball quickly across the ground. Brasher, Scott Mann is on. The Parramatta fullback, utility back. This is the play. Oh, you're dead set double movement. Now. Is that the quarter time break? That is quarter time break. If somebody had to tell us. <laughs> I didn't realize it was quarters. It is quarters, is it? Well, uh, yes, it is quarters, right? Now Brett Kenny's team leading by six points to four. The Bowstead try was converted. Eric Gross scored in the corner for Wally Lewis's team early. And that's the quarter time score. Six points to four, as you can see, many of them very deserving of a break. We'll take one as well, give you some pleasant relief and be back with you in just a moment. Dead, converted and for Wally Lewis's KFC side a cry for Eric Grove when you're ready young Ella the great Mark Ella when you're ready young Ella and he's found the line but for a moment it might have been a bit adventurous and plenty of troops have been sent to the bench for uh, oxygen supplies, I would imagine. And a very good call there from Gene Miles to his teammates, just telling them that they weren't sharing the workload. With the obvious indication that he was doing most of it. Hasn't looked that way from the commentary box, but it's very easy up here watching this game. Much tougher out there in the middle. Just Gene to get loose. near the football and, and Thornton about to cut loose. Oh, 
was on for the oh Sam back I was ripped them apart straight up the center he's left an imprint on the game with that run alone he's left an imprint on the ground after the tackle as well Ray good burst bad miss by Vorton I thought close was a mile offside referee playing advantage no great advantage there and Bacco still on the ground he could be there for a week Steve Ella down by Vorton, a rather dubious looking tackle. There could have been a knee in it. Ella's okay. Vorton's not. Fullerton and Smith away to the right for uh, Glenn Ella to chip. The chase is on for Terry Hill, but the cleanup was good by Dale Shearer. And a penalty goes to Brett Kenny's team. He's ruled that Terry Hill was in front of the kicker, I believe. They definitely placed a little kick there. The referee in good position. Hill just offside. They covered him there from Dale Shearer. He's had a, a good game out there on his home ground, Dale Shearer. There's some big defence there on Chris Close. Brasher involved, Fullerton Smith. Brett Horsnell out there. Oh, footwork there from Vorton once again. He's, he's working his way into this match. He's like a thoroughbred, this man. One of the best runs all night there. I think I'm going. This is young Butner from Parramatta. He's on the park, and I think that might be Adrian Vowles from the, the Gold Coast team. It is. Vowles, I think, is the right pronunciation, but it, I don't suppose it really matters tonight. Some of them would be preferring that we didn't recognise them. Dipper gets a pass away. Butner did very well. Miller's there, conspicuous by the shorts. Niebling bursts into a hole. Shearer came onto it. It's come up with Lewis's team just out from their own line. Well, it would have been a classic try, but a, a knock on there from Dale Shearer after good work from Mario Fennig out of dummy half. And lock up some big defence now. That's what we want to see. Yeah, I can't believe they brought Sammy off, mate. There you go, Sam. Hey, boy, how you going? Hey, mate. Mate, mate, you said you were nervous for the game. Uh, how are you feeling now? Oh, mate, after that last break, unbelievable. Did you see me, mate? Yeah, so, and Sam, the middle, I, 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 step fatty, mate. step fatty. you still got it. Yeah, mate, absolutely. Mate, I also believe that you're the chief executive of Logan City coming into the president, competition. President, Monday, of the, eh? president of the Logan Lions. Hello, all my clients. How are you? <laughs> mate, you had, I can't believe he took you off. Uh, but I'll put, the, I'll put the hand up. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Who do you reckon's going to win the grand final, mate? Oh, mate, I reckon between Canterbury and the Bronx. You'll be here anyway, you uh, ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Sta Sam or Steve, whichever one it was that threw back to us in the commentary box. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dove. No change in the score. 6 4, still Kenny's team in front. As Dale Shearer has an air swing. Vorton recovers, makes a dash down the centre, but the sound of Dromosaur's whistle. Well, he must have ruled that Dale Shearer is knocked on. That's all I can imagine. What happened there? Well, a, a pretty tough call there. The ball was actually knocked out of Dale Shearer's hands. He's trying to kick. Chris Close, he's doing a marvellous job out there standing offside. Man of the match in the very first state of origin, and he's, he's backing that up with a performance here tonight. Look at that swarming defence. You can time that, play the ball with the sundial. Simon O'Donnell did well. Terry Hill inside for Hetherington. That is Jason, I hope. Glenn Ella. Beautiful evasive work there, and then Les Davidson for Greg, Greg Florimo. He looks for support. Ella is there again. Groth's looking for his second. He's got the daily double, Eric. Groth gets his second in the same corner. Lee Freeman tries in vain, but the big fella goes in for his second try. Lewis's team goes to the lead now. Eight points to six. And lost none of that finishing ability. The play coming back to this side. Good spiral pass there. Torpedo from Simon O'Donnell. 
he did well there. I was a bit harsh on him early, but he's starting to learn this game now. Great work from Ella, keeping the ball alive. Davidson, a short pass to Florimane. Now, this was the man who set it up, keeping the ball alive. Ella up from fullback, gets the ball to growth. He's on the outside of Freeman, tried to put him over the sideline, but the, he was just too big. This is much better play here from the Kentucky Fried Chicken side. And that's the problem for Streets, stopping the football. Ella, great hands up top, and I'm trying to be fairly serious, but how can you be when you see Gray scoring a second try and he's run 10 metres to score two? And they've given him the opportunity to convert his own try. Well, he's just, a, I'd say he's more chance of hitting us up here in the, in the stand rate. We are almost the opposite direction. The best I've ever seen from him got off the ground. So Grace scores his second try. Wally's team leads by eight points to six. And we're midway through the second quarter. Kenny's back on the bench. So is Bostead and Miles. And it's autograph time. Mike McLean, Wally Fullerton Smith. What happened to Wally? He left St George and I heard he was going to France as a coach or something. I'm not sure. I thought he was actually going to New South Wales country at some stage. Just good ball back inside to Davidson and Eller, Glenn Eller involved at fullback all night. That's Jason Hetherington all right out there. And Wally Fullerton Smith, he, I'm not quite sure where he ended up. I know that he had coaching aspirations and I think he has followed that up somewhere, whether it's in Australia or not. Not sure. Man, Steve Ella, Hetherington, Glenn Ella. He's proving quite uh, quite a thorn in the side. Now, Greg, you've got some of the interchange players oh, down oh. there. Yes, Ray. But just talking to uh, Brett Kenny, he said he wanted to smoke because his uh, nerves are getting to him. <laughs> Brett? Yeah, man, the tension's unbelievable out there. I mean, this is. Probably one of the toughest games to play. You've only got to have a look at the eye. Yes, mate. A uh, legacy of last week's game. And uh, the same team, mate. First five minutes of this game was. Oh, fair enough. And the tooth, too? <laughs> yeah, the tooth, yeah. That damage, that? damage in the tooth. How's it going out there? Uh, you in for a win tonight? I don't think so. We're fortunate enough that they've just taken their number one player off now, the KFC team and Eric Grass. So uh, we, could be, we could have a few opportunities down this side to score a few tries. Yeah, he's still playing well, uh, the Guru. So what, what's ahead for uh, Brett Kenny these days? Sitting back, relaxing, have a nice cool beer. Enjoy life for a while, I think. So any coaching aspirations? Oh, mate, I look shocking with grey hair, so I don't think I'll worry about coaching. And just before we go, Brett, who's your tip for the grand final? Um, well, I'm up here at the Gold Coast. I'll have to say Brisbane and Canberra. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Brett. Yeah, came into the play. Brett Kenny there with Greg Dowling. Dipper did well to get there. Miller across from a player I don't even know who that is. Who is that? Oh, it's Colin Scott. He's on the field now. Fennick gets it away. Freeman puts it out wide. Vowles inside. Needling. Oh, Vorden! Vorden scores a try. This is incredible stuff. Well, how did he do that? Well, he's blown up at the referee, but it's been awarded and fairly sort of relaxed in, the, in reacting to that try. The little head shake there. Great work to back up inside from Borton. And, and he had to leave the ground, Barry. otherwise he wouldn't have scored the try. Barry? Again, Mark Ella making that incisive burst on the far side. Picked up Butin. And now, look at this hands from Dippio Domenico. Outstanding. That's how Hawthorne could leave him out of their side at the moment. I've got no idea. Some good interchange, close in, keeping the ball alive over the top. Now, Gary Freeman does well here. Gets the ball now. The big cutout. Pass back inside. Little ball from Beebling. And he had to leave the ground. Otherwise, they'd, they'd have got him. Well, one of the great moments in sport. Memorable moment. And we'll hear plenty about it too, I would imagine. This could get replayed several times over. Look at the smile and the swallow dive. 9.5, 9.5. Well, I actually think he was the victim of, of, a, of an ankle tap. He didn't mind it, did he? Oh, have a look at the attempt at conversion. Hello. Hell there, get him off. Get on with it. 
On one. Terry Cook, minus a pair of trousers. Dipper did well. Handball across. That's the biggest mistake he's made tonight. And the zip zip man goes in to put it down. Well, the good side's in back straight away as the try scorer, Steve Rhodes, gets up. The other try scorer, Paul Morton, must be very disappointed on the sideline after getting his side in front. And now, as soon as he's left the field, it just all falls apart here. The big dipper was going to ground here. He got his hands in good position, got the, the handball away, but Ella, Johnny on the spot. Too much speed for the cover defence. And puts the ball down adjacent to the uprights. This is great work from the big man. I really think he could have had a future in this game. Beautiful ball for Steve Ella from oh, Dipper. Great ball. The wrong team, but a great ball. Let's have a look at this scoreboard. There's the attempt at conversion. And the flags go up. So the score pushes along. 12 points to 10 in favour of the KFC side. 14-10, in fact. In favour of Lewis's team over Kenny's team. 14-10, midway through the second quarter. As 93's big rugby league season reaches the finals, rely on National 9 News. Special reports of inside information from the game's best, including Paul Vaughan and Peter Sterling. Don't miss all the excitement as Sydney fights to win back the Winfield Cup exclusive to 9. Take on a tough job in tough country. And you usually have to get there on all fours. But when that's not enough, you just have to use your muscle. That's why there's a whole range of Mitsubishi Tritons with all the muscle of a big V6. And if you can't rely on a big V6 with four-wheel drive to get you there, who can you rely on? Five million dollars? What's all that for? Lotto's five million dollar Father's Day week. Five million dollars? Well, how do you become a father? Take the chill out of winter with the 395 chalkboard specials at Sizzler. Three mouth-watering additions to the Sizzler menu for just 395 extra when you buy our all-you-can-eat salad bar. A juicy steak topped with peppercorn sauce. Oriental orange chicken or golden crumbed calamari. For a limited time, they're just $3.95 extra when you buy our famous all-you-can-eat salad bar. Well, Citibank firstly is a, a global bank that was founded on service. The person who opens the account becomes your personal banker, so it's a lot more friendly. It's a dedicated bank, it's an innovative bank with always designing new products or looking to fine-tune products to the changing market. Um, it's a bank that uh, physically looks different from any other bank. It's a lot more relaxed atmosphere. I think Citibank uh, is the future of banking. You think we're good today, tomorrow will be even better. Master Foods select and prepare only the finest herbs and spices to help you bring the real flavors of Italy to life in your cooking. For authentic Italian tastes, add a few shakes of these herbs and spices. Master Foods, the taste master. For complete care of your car, you can't go past an ultra-tuned service centre. Fixed prices, no surprises, guaranteed. You can't go past ultra-tune. Plans afoot. And they're aimed at Simon O'Donnell. Glen Ella with a long one-hander from Hetherington. Lewis is back with us. Man is able to promote it. Lewis supports him. Michael O'Connor's put it down or did it get a touch? Well, Scott Mann getting involved out wide. Gets a good ball to Lewis. Tried to set up around the back there and, and as you heard Michael O'Connor say it was, it was too good to be caught. 
What about the pass from Mark Eller early on? Glenn Eller, I'm sorry. That takes some ability to be able to throw one of those and find the man on the chest. And Mark Eller going into the, the front row position. Well, that's a sign of inexperience. The forwards, the forwards from Kenny's team have gone to play in the back line. Now, Fatty has gone to the bench. Great try, mate. Yeah, thanks, Ray. One of my best. Thank you. Lots of skill, speed, pace. Only what you'd expect from me. Yeah, well, I didn't think I'd have to ask you too many questions. Can you tell us about it for about half an hour? <laughs> have you got that long? Well, well we I can... thought after I stepped off the left and then I beat those six uh, and then went, through. looks like it could be a try here. Chris Close on the move. I've st oh, geez, I've still got it. You because still have. Oh, geez, he'll score. Yes, Close he is over, near the sticks. Great try, Chris Close. Not as good as your try, though, Paul. No. Oh, goes without saying, Ray. Anyway, Peter said to say congratulations. He's still flabbergasted by the entire event. Thank you. Paul, your work rate's just been outstanding. You've lost nothing, as has Chris Close straight up the middle here. Yeah. Your side's on top. Exactly. I think probably the turning point came in the match after my try that they took me off, and that allowed KFC to get back into it through Steve Ellis' try. But I think we'll go right on with it from here. And, uh, you know, we'll have it. Choppy, legend. He's kicked that from 40 metres out to the left of the sticks. That's, what is it? 16, 14. Yeah, well, we'll actually, We've got him covered. Look, could you look at the monitor so it's, we can see the end of the try? That's the kick there. What monitor? From 10, <laughs> from 10 metres out. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it was television talk. Sorry, well, I've copped a knock. I'm in a blue, bit of a blur, you know. Can you hear the director? Who? The director? Oh, Neville. <laughs> yeah, Neville. Ne Neville Morris. Yes. I'm just waiting for Simon to do something. Is he out there? Yes, he is. He's still got his makeup on from today. It's great to talk to you. We'll, we'll come back to you when you get some oxygen in the light. Right, I'll get back to you shortly, Ray. Thank you, Paul. Who said that? Well, this has been one of Barry Gomesall's best refereeing efforts. I, I think he's only come up with about 30 controversial decisions which is, is a good game for Barry, and he's lived up to the expectations of coming into this match. As Brasher up from fullback again, the big step, but gee, that's good defence front on there from Miller and Close. He's having a, a great yeah. game, Chris Close. That's one. It's a while to get off the ground once he's made the tackle, but geez, he, he's playing well for now. Brett Horstall is on there now for the KFC side. That's the red and white side. Davidson. That's two. Back here, bring it back. Kangaroo. There's Davidson, as many of these players are, obviously. McLean supporting was Lewis. You almost expect that the King will get a try out of it shortly. Miles, Miles picks him up and dumps him. Well, you can see Lewis knows his side's in trouble and, and he's lifting his performance accordingly. Getting much more involved. Simon O'Donnell, well, a fair bit of fear in that pass, I think. Which way are they going? O'Connor using Horsnall. Now they straighten it up. Glenn Eller goes for the drop goal from about 35 metres. Back to the 20 metre line for the restart by Brett Kenny's Streets ice cream side. Well, not a bad play there with your side trailing by two like that. have got within one and a psychological advantage if that ball goes over. But all it did go over was the 20 metre line. Unfortunately, he was 40 out. It was Gary Freeman, the little dummy. Well, look at this. He's, he's backed himself into a corner and... Really voluntary sort of tackle that one, I'd have thought, Ray, as Mario Fennick looks to continue on. Been quite subdued, Mario. No head highs tonight. He's kept it down. Well, what's going on here? Well, Gomesall's going to put a scrum down. The ball was raked out from Mario's grasp. And Mario, I've never seen him cop it so sweet. No. Red ball, red ball. Gee, that is a profile, isn't it? Did you see Mario Fennick? Well, Terry Hill's hand in there. That's a professional foul. It should have been a penalty to the street side. And Hill should have been off for a while, but you know, those decisions change games, right? They certainly do. Now, here's Simon trying to do something. Hey! <laughs> what is he trying to do? <laughs> Come on, Simon. Lewis now. Angling across, throws a pretty ordinary pass for him. Kenny's team takes it down the ground on the boot, but Marn it is that turns it around for the KFC side. Now O'Donnell is putting on a sprint. Out wide for Big Les Davidson, back in for Simon O'Donnell, and into touch. 
Well, that might have been the reception committee they were brewing up with. Yeah, yes. victim of circumstance, yep. circumstance O'Donnell. Just having a few words for the touch judge. Not happy with the decision. As you can, well, as you can hear, I don't know if there's any skirts here. Well, he had his hand up there somewhere. Uh, Gary Freeman, as you can see. Well, that's blatantly really misconduct enjoyed. from Freeman. Well, it was. Thank it, you, Mario. Thank and you, and O'Donnell you. has every right to blow up there. He did well. He was involved in the movement on two occasions. And great work from Close. They talk about going up the middle there. That's exactly what Close has done. Well, this is incredible. Close has come straight through the middle of the scrum. Well, well, obviously, Ray, the, the problem there is the Kentucky side not binding tight enough in the scrum. Probably allowing, too tight. Well, they've, just, they've got to pack tight in that. You can't allow one of the front rowers to go straight through the middle of you. It doesn't instill any confidence in your back line whatsoever. Absolutely. And very fortunately, the ball, when they came up with a mistake, as Lewis, the runaround, ball back inside to Glen Ellett. Great footwork. Man keeping it alive. In circles. And finally, good defence here, Adrian Bowles. But they're under pressure here. Only 20 out centre field. This is Michael McLean. Finescu. Round the back from Brasher. It's gone out wide. Glen Ella tried to slide it round the corner, but it's Brett Kenny's team that comes up with it. And they've got to try something here. Only 30 seconds to go out to half time. They're in front the street side, the Brett Kenny team, but... Uh, I would like to extend that lead. They have an opportunity, almost the last play of this first half. Miles, a handoff to Bosted. Great ball. Great ball. It was blatantly forward, and Gomasaw was in line with it. And he let it go. Every time Miles does something wrong, Gomasaw lets him go. Well, hang on. He's knocked on there, and he's been pulled up. And that's a knock-on that he could have missed, Gomasaw. Glad he saw was, one it, of the exactly a, a little knock-on. I'm glad he's done something against Miles. You'd fair can think Miles had something going with this Gomasaw. Well, I think it goes back to that first decision early where he didn't realise it was a forward pass thrown by Miles. He'd normally let that go. I wouldn't be surprised if Miles has slung him something. Fair dinkum. It's half time anyway, Sterlo. We'll drop off that. Kenny's team leading Lewis's side. 16 points to 14. A fantastic weekend of semi-final rugby league coming up on nine. The weekend shows, of course, they've got a great menu as well. And here's a look at what's on. Oh, and he just snatched the wig off his head. Yeah, I thought it was a high tackle. It was original. high. Right. If, you, if you snatch hair off the top of the head, it's got to be high. Well, it's a send-off offence, really. Well, he's lucky to be out there, Lewis. And maybe the fact he's putting on this game has something to do with it. But good, good work here from Ella. Again, picking up Bostead. A real handful. Ella backing up as he does so well. Freeman's there. There's cover defence. Oh, great. He's done a great job to get out onto that ball. <laughs> Play the ball there, not wasting energy by using his foot to do so. As Wally Fullett and Smith under pressure comes up with the mistake. Good start here from the street side. So, Kenny's team with a golden opportunity here. Mark Ella. 10 metres away from the line. Work a fairly wide blind and Sirenen... That's two. Pulled down there by Simon O'Donnell. That's a good trick by Simon. Vorton, the first receiver, does a little bit of dancing and then gives it to Brian Niebling. Niebling turns it back and away from Fennec. It's with Freeman. Back now for Mark Eller. He runs back in towards the blindside corner there and a pass floated for Colin Scott. That's a turnover played by Florham. One of the examples of pushing the pass there was, was early in the tackle count. Taking all the pressure off now, the Kentucky Fried Chicken side. Paul Sirenen not allowing O'Donnell to play the ball quickly. And I'll be hoping that they don't come up with a mistake this end of the field as Lewis finds Brasher. Into the clear, Brasher. What about Vorton? What was he doing? Backpedalling away from the ac actual ball count. There he is coming from behind. That was the plan. Let him go and then make a tackle from behind. Well, that's more spectacular, isn't it? You, you get much more applause for coming up with the big try saver than, than an early guy. Oh, the chip over the top taken by Miller beautifully out of there. Might have floated forward, but it's play on great skill from Kenny. Oh, Sirenen did well. This is still play on, I'd say. Shear is with it. Now Niebling. Classic piece of work by Brett, Brett Kenny. Have a look at the hands on this bloke. All jokes aside. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a flick pass to himself, and that's not easy to do. Boasted. 
Mark Eller. He's run into some traffic, looks inside. Gary Freeman answers the call. Back for Mark Eller. The line is there. Flick passes Les Davidson. Looks good as he comes away from inside the 20. Supported by Wally Fullerton Smith. And then away from Greg, Greg Florimo to the halfway line. But then Miles crunches him. A timely tackle there from Miles. Mark Eller deserved better there. Handled three times in the one movement. Good play here. They've gone the length of the field in two plays. Steve Eller offloading to Davidson. Where's his support? He doesn't need it. He's he won't need it, Peter. Oh, yes, he oh, might now. tackle from Shearer. An easy one for Terry Hill. Just a, a stroll in the park across the line. Big Les Davidson did the, did the lead up work. And Terry Hill gets a try for Lewis's team to lead 18-16 now. And Brett Kenny's team will be disappointed with the marker defence here. The fact that there weren't any markers and the fact that they didn't go. Great tackle there from Dale Shearer. And he'd have looking for some urgency there. He's tried to rake the ball out. But Terry Hill... Well, he, he's beaten four or five players to score that one. Conversion attempt by the same man, the try scorers taking the conversion attempts with a couple of exceptions. And 18-16, Wally's team leading Burt's side here at the Seagull Stadium. And they're out there tonight, these great players of the past, some of the present, and some of the future, I guess, because there are a couple of names out there that I'm sure are going to be big names in rugby league in the future. And, of course, the charities tonight that have been the factors from it. Well, there it is. The ball kicked off with the wig on top. And it's Glen Ella who carries it back for Simon O'Donnell. Goes into traffic. That's one. I think that's a fairly cheap attempt at humour there. Putting fake hair on the top of something. I don't think it's a subject that... It really needs to be laughed at or made fun of. And I, I know that I disagree with that restart of play. This is getting pretty scrappy at the moment. Well, the coaches at half-time have obviously said that the ball needs to be moved around. To win this game, you've got to score points. Very close on the scoreboard at the moment, but if you can... If you want two or three tries, you might just get away from this. Backo knows that there's only one way. That's straight up the middle. And another one of those great charges. You want to be the dick in the grass. You have to laugh at Sam, though. He actually threw a dummy and did three sidesteps, and there wasn't a defender within 10 metres of him. But he enjoyed it. Sirenin. Three-man tackle on Sirenin, and he's still smiling. Backo was one of them, Brasher another. Side-on shot of Sam makes the mind boggle. Now Dipper's had trouble. Somebody's dipped the ball off him and Backo's been penalised. Yeah, con job there from Dipper on, on Sam Backo. He's not happy. A quick tap taken here by Mario Fennick. I didn't think they'd give Dipper the kick for touch once again. He, he didn't find it the first time. A great ball movement there. Gary Freeman finally tackled. Warming to their task. Here's Dipper now. Miller. Butner. Some of the younger Lions in the game invited to play in this match. Adrian Vols. Ball going forward, so Gomasaw is going to turn it over. That's what he's done. Michael McLean running it away. Lewis's team with the ball and in front by two. Michael O'Connor. Steve Eller. Oh, thank you very much. Michael O'Connor calling Eller inside. He should have listened to the Eric Growth philosophy. Don't go inside because you will get the ball. And Miles was there to meet him. Speaking of Growth, I, he's just a joy to watch, isn't he? That was poetry. Let's get him around the slide down. Even the big men like Ray. Big Sam trying to fend off the dipper. Growth with this long 40 metre pass. Landing in the arms of Lewis. Short ball away. And O'Connor's pass has gone back for Michael Butner on the opposition side to give to Mark Eller and then back for Michael Butner. And he's able to flick it away and promote it for Vorton on to Freeman. 
Kenny very nonchalantly sends the dipper down the sideline and the dipper's going great guns Glenn Ella arrests him momentarily Kenny comes on the scene and Kenny is wrapped up no he's not he's given the ball back for the dipper but he's lost it Florimo away for the zip zip man Ella O'Donnell's with it he's going the wrong way now he straightens throws the one-hander Guru's put it down kicks it on into the end goal line drop out well, not bad play there from Growth, realising it was late in the tackle count and he needed to kick the football to find touch. Obviously, he was a little bit uh, disorientated here and realised he was kicking the wrong way, but he did find touch and that takes all the pressure off. That's the horizontal kick that Eric used with great success. Let it go. Oh, the short kick off, great play there. Florimo promoting the ball for Hill. He's in open spaces and finds... Supporting O'Connor. Brashes with it. Terry Hill's overrun the flight of the ball. Florimo scoops up the dregs, pushes it on and out. Glenn Ella, Michael McLean, play almost on the halfway line. Just the two points in it. Wally's team in possession. They lead by 18 to 16. Canescu puts it down. Gomesal says go on, play on. O'Donnell. Been a, been a much better performance from Simon O'Donnell in this second half. A little bit more help from his teammates there as Greg Florimo pushes off a would-be defender, then goes to the air. That would-be defender was Miles. Shearer. A little bit of the Houdini coming out in him. Sirenan. Freeman. Mark Eller. Cutting a slicing run down the ground, but that's a mile forward. Well, what a shame there. Oh, geez, it was very solid on Kenny's side, but some of his rulings, isn't he? Well, I, I think if you have a look through there, you'll find that the majority of them are Queenslanders. And it was a shame that that one had floated forward because it was good play. And, and so is this from Terry Hill. He'll score. Well, that's his second. No, he's decided unselfishly to give Steve Eller another try. Well, that's just great play, isn't it? It's improved the position. It's made the conversion attempt much easier. 22 points to 16 now in favour of Wally Lewis's side. And all this goes back to that forward pass ruling from Gomesall on Kenny's side. So Steve Eller from right in front. <laughs> Pushing the score out to 24 points to 16. We'll just take a break and be back with more from the Seagull Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back. Annual charity match. It carries the flag of Wally Lewis above it. And Steve Ella, who scored a couple of tries for Wally's team, is in possession. Camp Quality, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Paraplegic Benefit, Tweed Heads Hospital, here and safe for the deaf children. They are all benefiting by... What's happening out there tonight? Sam Bacco has been prominent. This is Tim Brasher. Scott Martin. Ella. Inside. Horsnall. Canescu. Growth. Intercepted by Kenny. Butner. Oh, they're out on their own. They've only got to put the foot down. But Butner. Vargically throws it across. Adrian Vowles is with it. Butner's supporting him. Trouble for Mike O'Connor. Not now. Butner away. Kenny's with it. Now the dipper. The dip dip man. He's put it down over the 10 metre line and thinks he's got a try. Oh, he's just... It's smart play again. He's milked a penalty here. Another quick tap from Bostep. He's throwing the dummy. Finds Miller. Kenny does a miraculous job to hold that, but the, the dipper, he's, he's leading the way. Kenny side looking ever so dangerous. Plenty of passing. Now they're starting to make some ground. Niebling gives it for Bosted. And little Kerry goes in to score another try. Well, again, I can't stress the importance of the work out there. Robert Dippier Domenico gave them good field position. The intercept taken here from Kenny. 
the best passer he grows from in a long, long time. Butner, well, he really should have gone for home, but he saw Scott Mann coming across in cover. Tried to pick up the man inside. Adrian Bowles is there. He gets outside Scott Mann's tackle here. Won't be happy with that one. Got support inside. There's Butner backing up. Kenny did a good job. And look at this. Reaching out, putting the ball over the try line as the conversion attempt is successful. Paul Serenin. And happy about it. 24 to 20 in favour of Wally Lewis's team. Classic shot of Rebo's dead. Getting his second try. And Paul Siren, the goal kicker. He may just have had a word to the captain out there. Wayne Pierce coming in to take over Balmay next year. They may be looking for a goal kicker and the hidden talents come out in these kind of games. Certainly the talent from this man has been a beacon tonight. There's another charging. Look at that. He's out of two tackles. Fuller and Smith, one of the game's best defenders, struggling to get into ground. Vorton. Oh, he's been quiet, Vorton, hasn't he? He's, he's run out of puff. It's <laughs> funny, <laughs> eh? Well, he's gone down. He's valiantly played the ball, but he's gone down. Well, I, I may have been remiss there. I, I, I just bagged Vorton, thinking that he'd run out of puff. In fact, well, I don't know if he's thrown a fit here. If he has, he's done it deliberately. He must have known what the nursing staff look like. There's no pulse, he's dead, but he's still talking. Oh. He's killed him again, hasn't he? <laughs> Works every time, the mouth to mouth. You all right, love? Oh, it was a heavy tackle. I can see why he stayed down. I saw his head hit the ground very hard. Struggling to get up valiantly. Oh, that's a professional footballer for you. You'll take plenty of this fat. Oh, gosh, you're heavy. <laughs> no, it's because he's fat. It's all right now. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Fatty. You always want to believe him. Number nine, Oscar Bell. Number nine, Oscar Bell. He's still has to work that out. Well, I think he's done a good job. He hasn't called for the stretcher. And nobody likes to leave the field under those circumstances. Well, I think he's probably suffering from concussion. Doesn't know what's happening there. What's he doing? Get up, you <laughs> Surprising that he got hurt so badly because he did fall on his head. Shearer. Miles. Well, I guess the good thing about that raise, it means it's not going to be any serious injury. He's had a brain scan, it came up negative. Don't blame the scanning equipment for that. Freeman. Up. Miles has done some good things here tonight. I wonder that Wayne Bennett hasn't asked him to come out of retirement, given their problems at the moment. Shearer handing it back for Butner. Niebling thinks about a try for himself. Freeman gets it away. Kenny wrapped up by Mike O'Connor. A big effort from Brett Kenny tonight to play on with that nasty eye. Oh, good flick inside here. And he caught the knock early on. The eye's already gone black. Oh, beautifully taken by Dipper. That might be a play we'll see more of. A wide kick for Dipia Domenico. Very good in the air, as you can see. Doesn't take his eyes off the ball. And Fulton Smith read it well and really put him into the grandstand. That's two. Who's been your best to date, Ray? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt that uh, Miles has been pretty much outstanding for Kenny's side. Sirenin, I was going to suggest that the Dipper's done some good things, but oh, Bacco's oh, oh. played outstanding as well. Greg Dowling, I think, is with Simon O'Donnell right now. Yes, Ray. Simon, your first game of rugby league. How are you enjoying it? A bit harder than I thought, mate. I'd rather watch you blokes on telly, I think. But I think Fortin's cut us apart in the centres. Anything? 
We have you. Well, there's something about a bet between you and Fatty. Yeah, well, I better slip in for a try or I'm in deep trouble, mate. I've got to slip in for a try at some stage. He's already got the one. If I let him have one and I don't get one, I'm in deep strife. A lot of money down the drain. Thanks, Simon. Now, this was the try that was scored. We couldn't interrupt uh, the former great. Talking to Simon O'Donnell and Mark Eller was in for a try in the rugby league vein. Gavin Miller was doing what he used to do so well. Yeah, great work there from Miller. He, he's very deceptive with his pace. He's actually slower than he looks. But he found a gap there and the conversion attempt was a good one, as was the try. 26-24 then. And his team over Lewis's side. One of those incredible things about Sport Ray that these two Wally Lewis celebrity challenges have been very close on the scoreline. Two evenly matched sides. They would both, even without the final score here, pay a mozza on, uh, on footy, Tad. 52 all, the last one. This is Adrian Vowles, good young player from the Seagulls Club. Looked on the outside, Dipper's supposed to be there. Now he is, but he stepped out of over the sideline. The touch judge let it go, and Dipper goes in for a try. Line. There was a foot went over the sideline, but who, who cares? It doesn't matter. Dipper's having a good time, and why shouldn't he? Well, again, one of the less flamboyant efforts here from the big Dipper. A little bit of doubt about this one. Let's have a look at the front one. No, I think he's got the benefit of the doubt. He just stayed in and turned. He's got the ball down in, in well, that's great style. I thought at uh, first glimpse that he did go over the sideline, but you're quite right. Yeah. He didn't, of course. No. No way in the world. And a try for the great Hawthorne Australian rules play. Now he'll try and convert from the I'll side. Give you a Checking the breeze. Big sticks are over there. It's on its way. It's on its way. Six points. Great goal from right out on the touchline for. Dipper Domenico, Cito Domingo. <laughs> Three-quarter time then. How many points did they give him for that conversion? Well, they've jumped to a fairly big lead here at three-quarter time, and, and there's the man responsible. 30, 32 points to 24. Kenny side over Lewis's team. 32 to 24. We'll go for a meat pie, a Big Ben, and we'll be back in just a minute. Match between Wally Lewis's KFC side and Brett Kenny's Streets Ice Cream team. This is the Big Ben pie. Go, 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 go. A charity match as Dipper has the long run down that left touch line. Still going. The flag has gone up. This time, the touch judge has put the flag in the air. Gomesall now checks with his touch judge. But he's running alongside Dipper, indicating that it's okay to play on. Well, he's given it. Oh, well, like a good player, the, the, the Dipper's played on. He didn't wait to, uh, to see if the whistle had blown. And some controversy here. Well, he's obviously well inside there. Oh, touch and go again. I, I think he was probably out that time, Ray. Well, the touch judge thought he was, but, but Gomesol was quite happy for Dipper to keep running. In fact, he stopped and Gomesol said, keep going, it's fine. I'm in charge here, not him. Yeah, change of pace there right at the end there from Dipper and well, Barry Gomesol, all you can say there, the good thing was he was, he was close to the, the action. Now, let me tell you that Dipper, when he converted his previous try, they gave him six points for the conversion. That takes them to 38-24. Kenny side in front. And Dipper with the conventional rugby league place kick converts his try, 40 points to 24, and Wally Lewis's team has got some work to do. Was well, there nothing that this Robert Dibia Domenico can't do? A shrug of the shoulders there. It doesn't matter whether it's the drop punt, the place kick. And he shows a scant regard for the sidelines. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Confined by the. Uh dimensions of the field here as that ball has only just gone the required distance it's called play on oh beautiful dummy from Ella Mario Fennec he's well he still thinks he's got the ball Fennec Ella 
That's incredible defence by Brett Kenny's team. In fact, Steve Ellis run through 36 of them. Well, he scored his third try. Well, a couple of poor missed tackles there. They'll be disappointed with that. He beat Brett Kenny, I think, twice in that one weaving run. Look at this. Mario Fennick falling for the intercept here. He'll flash through the screen there. Kenny, well, he was put off by Mark Ellis. He thought Ella was going to come up with the try under Freeman. Shearer, I thought he had a little bit more pace, and that goes for the ankle tap. And Kenny there, well, all he can do is come up with a despairing dive. What do you think Phil Gould said when he saw Gary Freeman's attempt to at tackle on Steve Ella? Well, I think that uh, he was hoping it was indelible ink on the, on the contract. <laughs> so Steve Ella picks up the try. 40 points to 28 now. Let's go down to the sideline. Blocker is with uh, Goulburn's number one publican, I think. Yeah, Gav's uh, taken over yes, a pub after his retirement this season. I'm sorry, mate. You've Gold taken over a pub down in Goulburn after this season? The, the season that's just finished, uh, you retired? Yeah, that's right, Blocker. I've taken over the Carlton Hotel in Goulburn. I'd like to send a cheerio call all the boys there. I know they'll be watching, and my wife Sharon and the two boys, Jacob and Scotty, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great cause. Great to be up here, and uh, we look as though we're the more committed team tonight, don't we? Mate, you were trying to show your depth ball skills before the line and after. You didn't have much support, mate. Well, when you've got Fatty in the side, it's very, very difficult to get any support whatsoever. And, uh, you know, uh, as it's turned out, he needed to be resuscitated by, by a couple of, uh, of the nurses. And I can see that he's making a uh, bigger impression on the game since he's been resuscitated. What about Big Sam making that big bust? He's made them all night. He had to go close to the man in the match game. Well, I think he's very, very close indeed. I know that he's made a, um, a, a big impact. He's looking to play again next season. <laughs> I, oh, no, I, no, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about to draw out the like, uh, nightly raffle prize. It is mobile. Having Sammy back in the team, if you like, having you back in there, block off. Uh, uh, mate, just a quick tip for the grand final, mate, coming Kitty. up. Very, very difficult with the d disruption to, um, to the Canberra with Stewart out and also with, uh, with uh, Brisbane not making the top five. I still predict a Canberra victory, although it's going to be very, very tough. Yeah, we can go a bit longer if you want, Rabs. <laughs> That's OK. You're doing fine. <laughs> Back to you, mate. Here's the king. Hasn't been across the line tonight. I thought it would have been part of the script. Now, the spiralling pass. Sam again, on fire. Brasher, unmistakable running style. Then away for Bullet and Smith. And in to score the try in number 17 is Jason Hetherington. Very unselfish work there from both Wally Fulton Smith and Greg Canescu. I'm not sure if they had the pace to get there. They had about eight or seven or eight metres to go there. Not a play within 10 metres, but they, they took the safe option through the pass. Incisive run from Brasher, the little one over the top. There's Canescu, off lays to Fulton Smith. And great support play there. Hetherington, one of the good young players from up around this area. Finishing some fairly ineffective defence here. He was touched, he didn't stop. And that's just great ball control. There's Dipper coming in late. Not even he can stop the try being scored. Conversion was successful. 40 points to 34 now. The blue side in front, the team led by Brett Kenny. Gene Miles. Placing it for the, the restart. One of the more unusual sights on the field. A, a, a raffle actually being drawn during the restart of play. Brasher probably just losing a little bit of concentration there as the raffle was being drawn. But it gets involved straight away. That's, that's great play. Being able to turn off and, and on like that. It, it is a sign of a good player. Ray, just getting back to one of the interesting points you made earlier. What price Lewis scoring a try tonight? It, you would think that they can get close to the line. He might be the man they'd look for. He's an impact player. I would have thought long odds on about him scoring a try. I still think the Emperor will do it. O'Connor back for O'Donnell. He's getting involved now, Simon. You don't think we could get into a situation where Lewis could actually score a winning try? He wouldn't that bring the house down? <laughs> Have you seen the script? Oh, totally uncontrived, I'd say, but interesting to see how this does pan out. As Ella, good ball outside to Terry Hill. He's been a, a star performer tonight. Lovely offload there. Horstall throws the dummy. Defence getting tired, but Shearer comes up with the final one. Now, 
Simon O'Donnell. Simon O'Donnell puts on a spread and he's in. He's equal Borton's performance. He does the dance. Simon O'Donnell gets the try. Immediately they're calling for autographs. And why not? What a great piece of work there in a, in a foreign game for him. He, he had to beat three or four defenders to get there. He's obviously watched the American football Nibling. Well, he'd be disappointed with that attempted at tackle. And yes, that's straight out of the, the NFL. A little goose step. And why wouldn't you want to get your jersey signed by a, a man of his stature? There's the little punch from McIndoe. He knows that he's got the man's signature on his back. He'll treasure that. He'll put that at home for his children. Simon O'Donnell, he's threatened to equal whatever Fatty had done earlier, and he's achieved that ambition. Tremendous moment for him. This was his attempt at conversion. It's called the throw kick. And it's 40 points all now, thanks to S. O'Donnell. Well, I have to say, Ray, if, if Simon O'Donnell was to play rugby league, I don't think he'd be in the number 14 jersey for long. <laughs> Rashford did well to give Lewis another shot at promoting this football and now Scott Mann starts to weave his way through. Opposition starting to stand still in Kenny's team. Plenty of space out there being offered by them. But Dipper, somebody forgot to tell him that the ball was supposed to go down the other end of the park. He puts on a nice cross kick for his winger, Bostead. Knock back, play it on. Knock back, would said Gomez. Bowie, he'll run out of the park if somebody doesn't stop him. Brasher put a hand on him. Butin are back for Bostead. And now the King. Well, that took some ability from Kerry Bostead. He had five in support. There was only one defender there, and he was still able to pick Lewis out of that bunch. And Steve Roach on the sideline with one of the workaholics of the game, Mike McLean, be interested to see how he felt the game has gone this evening. Yeah, Mike's just back from Halifax, mate. A bit a bit like an English game here tonight. Very much like England Blocker. They um, throw it around a lot, like over there. Just while we're here, Blocker, I'd like to say a big special hello to a friend of mine in Townsville Hospital, Marilyn Burner. Marilyn fell sick this week and just want to say that everyone's saying, saying a big prayer for her. Get well, Marilyn. Thanks very much, Mike. Back to you, Sturlo. Well, Paul Horton very happy with that tackle there on a rampaging Sam Bacco. Will he get in and do a double? No. Well, Lewis holding the ball out the front, but again, Borton in the right position. Oh, look at that. Absolute goose. He is an exciting player, but isn't he, Ray? He brings the crowd to their feet. Oh, sure. Good work on the outside here. Great hands there from Vanilla. Now, talking of Vella, Florimo's with it. He pushes off a really frail attempt to tackle on him. Vanilla's the dummy half. And he's gone from that position to slam it down. Try for Glenella. While his team again in front. Well, they've come from the clouds here, and you, you've got to say too much arm tackling out there. I don't think there's enough committed shoulder defense here. A little bit of a, a weakness on the blind side there. Michael Butner not getting down low and only gets the ball down that wide. Tough conversion, but gee, they're coming home strongly. The Wally Lewis side. 44 to 40. Glenella from the sideline. Practice. Alan McIndoe knocking the ball off the mound with his boot. The drop kick attempt by Glenella is flagged away. So 44 points to 40 in the dying minutes of this game. 44 to 40, Wally's KFC side in front. On a current affair, your worst nightmare come true. They sunk. Florimo with a knockdown for Bacco, and now it's finished up with the dipper. Handballed across to the centre. Horton's with it. He's in the middle of traffic. Be careful there, Fatty. Fennick now bursts into space. Miles. Inside the 30. Intercepted by Wally. That was the one, I'm pretty sure, but he's put it down. Play on. 
Kerry Bostead's been busy out there tonight. He's been given a well-earned rest. He's with our Greg Dowling on the sidelines. Here's Kerry, Father Time. Father Time has been kind to you. Lost none of your speed. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, I think the boys might be going a little bit easy on me out there. Tell us about the Cowboys. How are they going? It's going great. Uh, we're well up to uh, expectations at this stage. Signings are going along well. And um, sponsorship is terrific. We've sold probably 75% of our sponsorship already. So that's, uh, it's, it's been really progressive. And the launch is coming up shortly. Yeah, launch of colours and uh, really the show, the show that'll get us on the road. Number 16 for Streets, Adrian Before we go, mate, who's your tip for the grand final? The, oh, so the launch is on October the 1st. And uh, it's hard to pick at this stage. I'll still have to go to the Broncos, even though no one's done it from their position before. Thanks, Gary. Right, Bowie, thanks very much. And this is what happened in the meantime. Chris Close, chopper, throwing a long pass out to Adrian Vowles, and he just gets it down inside that corner post, and it makes it 44 points all. Here's the attempted at conversion from way out there by Adrian, and it's a great kick from the sideline. Sends them to the lead, 46 points to 44. Brett Kenny side in front now. Long pass by Close. Did well, Adrian Vowles here. Greg Florimo, a despairing push there to try and put him out. He does a pool in the background there, Florimo. And what about the conversion attempt to put his team in front by two? Brasher just using the shallow restart. Not putting too much weight on the ball. It was meant for growth. Now, growth's gone in with a swinging arm. Michael Buten is not impressed. The touch judge didn't see it even though it happened right under his nose Chris close into the center Vorton tries to go through the the middle but Sam Bacco is there Simon O'Donnell's there they're all in there well, there's a few cheap shots in going in here now that's Vorton he's just he's got an absolute hiding there Vorton you saw Butner getting the same kind of treatment very slowly to his feet I really think tomorrow's semi-finals will be doing a lot more work, Ray. I doubt whether Vorton's going to be able to front to do anything after this game. He's, he's just put his body on the line. Well, that's the set. Oh, he's passed on his own line, Rowdy, and um, Greg Florimo has gone in to score. Well, the good players put themselves in a position to take advantage of any luck that's about, and that's what Florimo's done. Dale Shearer lot of his game here by well, picking out the wrong man he's he's done well he's got out of the in goal area throwing the dummy look for support good try now this is what happened to Vorton we were on the Butner incident with the replay and they just mauled in over the top and they've all had a little slice of the action oh well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that tackle Ray it's okay a touch high the conversion attempt being set up here. I, I think Vorton there was, was a victim of circumstance. A, a lot of players getting involved at the one time. What odds this? Well, I think we're at three figures, Ray. I, I think, you know, hundreds is probably close to the mark. You know, I'm, I'm betting fairly, fairly long odds that he, he'll actually kick the ball. Kenny's team all allowed to come outside the in goal. Well, Brian Liebling is there about 10 yards to his left. I think he's the man that could be in trouble here. That's right. He's in a very dangerous position there, Brian Liebling. Somebody should tell him to move. Anyway, here's the big fella now. Slamming Sammy. And what a great kick. What a magic moment. 48 to 46. <laughs> what well, well, his team in front. Well, the arms went up there, and rightly so. He made contact. It wasn't good contact, I'll grant you, but for Sam, any contact is a success. He blames the sand. It There's no the, doubt it moved. It was the sand. It was. <laughs> you can't trust this soil up here. It'll move underneath you when you least expect it. <laughs> Poor Sam. Anyway, Scott Mann comes away off his own line now for the KFC side. They're in front by two. They only have to play smart, half smart. Brasher putting on a spread, running fast. Shearer's got him, forces him to pass. Oh. Glenn Ella flicks it away for Terry Hill, and he's a metre from the line. <laughs> Electric speed by Brasher, but now 
Mark Allen not allowing Terry Hill to play the ball. Where's Gomesol? There he is. I lost him for a moment. Steve Allen. Beautiful big pass. Oh, it's found Sam. I don't think it was meant for him, but he's going to try and bulldog his way over the line. There's four of them trying to stop him. He got it down. Sam's got it down. They've gone past the half century. And just one. I reckon he's a big bloke. A valiant effort. He is a big bloke, Barry, you're right. And he, he was held by three big blokes, but still able to get the ball down. But that was the result of the best passage of play we've seen this evening. On the far side, the big break made. This was the next play. He had some work to do, Sam. He, he took it from a stationary position through Miles. Miles came again. Kenny there lending great support. Hetherington can't keep it up. Here's Fennick coming in. Oh, he gets the ball down and Gomez, look at that. Great position. Disappointment there on the faces of the defenders. Conversion from the King from Wally. It's over. 54 to 46. Only a matter of about a minute and a quarter to go. You'd have to be a frontline contender for man of the match. Sam. You'd have to nearly let Blocker do the interview with him too, wouldn't you? Well, there's not going to be a lot of space here, is there? You'd put the wide angle lens on for, for that interview as the dummy thrown there by Ella looking for support they're really coming home strongly here and, and look at terry hill he must score well he'll have to fall over not to the only thing inside is gomez old barry and terry hill puts it down under the uprights so wally's kfc kfc side they're looking very comfortable 58 46 they couldn't lose well, I don't, it might be a timeout or two, is there? No, I, don't, I don't think they can come back from here. We've got 50 seconds on the clock. They're trailing by 12. It's a tough call against them. Terry Hill realising the clock's on their side. It's a game piece of commentary, too. Well, and, and what about that? They, that's a show of confidence when you don't even take the conversion at 10. Butner, he's got Kenny. They're going to get back into this game. Miles on the inside. Will they run out of time? Freeman, good tackle from Brasher. They keep it alive. Kenny finds Colin Scott out there. You're going good, Butner. Oh, but oh, he's passed him off the ground almost. Great support here, close. Oh, this is this is unselfish stuff. That's vintage. Vintage. Mario gets the try. Canescu gives him a little shorten up. The timepiece says 11 seconds to go. 58 to 50, the scoreline. Not many opposing hookers in the game that wouldn't mind a little cheap shot at Mario. Canescu's come up with, with one there, but he knows he's going to be on the winning team. I thought Butner could have scored here, Ray. We got close. I thought he could have scored. I thought Miles could have scored. And close. <laughs> still close. Still close. But no, it was Fennick. One of his personal bests. So it's all over. There is no more. 58 to 50. That was the conversion attempt by Mario. And that's the official scoreline. Wally Lewis's team after a 52-all draw last year, have defeated Brett Kenny's side this year by 58 points to 50. 58 to 52 now, so apparently the kick and goal was successful. And uh, Mario Fennick going in to score that final. We're going to take a break, then we're going to come back with the man of the match. Now that's going to be a Herculean performance for somebody to find the man of the match, but we'll do that on the other side of this break. To 52 here at the Seagull Stadium in favour of Wally's side over the Brett Kenny team. Again, a host of good players. The man we chose as our best is now with Paul Vorton. Yeah, thanks, Turlo. It's my job now to give the man of the match. Uh, I must have gone pretty close myself. But on behalf of Ansett Australia, it's a trip for two to South Mole Island. I'm proud to say that the man of the match is none other than the big Sam Bacco. Congratulations, Sam, man of the match. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're, you're kidding, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I think I am. All I want to know is when are you let the other person out of that jumper? There's dead set two years in there, isn't there? But it's been a, a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, mate, I think it's for a great cause, you know. I don't, uh, as, as well as the other players, I think, um, you know, to come down here and participate, you know, it's, it's going to a worthy, worthy cause. I'm happy to be part of it. Is this the start of your comeback? I believe you're playing next year under, yeah, at the no, Logan no, City under Tommy Rudonicus. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, uh, I've, uh, I'm very much involved up there with Logan City. 
uh, with a bid to put another team in the New South Wales comp. And uh, I've, I've shown them, basically shown them all my weight, and this includes this yeah. other person here as well. <laughs> and those two sumos in the back of your pants too. <laughs> now, how do you think I went? <laughs> oh, very ordinary. Thanks. Right, I still, that's about it. Sam, congratulations, Ansett Australia, trip to South Milana. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Fatty. I'd just like to uh, thank Ansett and South Mile. Thanks very much. Thank you. Back to you, son. A big performance from Sam tonight, emphasis on the word big, and we do wish him all the best in his comeback to rugby league next season. As we pointed out earlier, 